I am so proud of my nationality. I'm so proud of my ethnicity and I'm equally as proud, if not more proud of my religion. And I think those three key parts are what make me up. At this point, we've got two Pakistani Muslim men in the Scottish Parliament. Um, so we've got no women of colour, we've got no Sikh representation, we've got no Hindu representation um, and that's not reflective of Scottish society and at the end of the day a, a parliament has to be reflective of the people that it represents. My dad um, explained to me like, look, if you want to make a change, if you want your voice heard, then you have to get involved in, in democracy. And so I wrote to Tony Blair um, back in 2003. Um, I've still got his response, actually. That was just a bit of a, a generic thank you for your letter response. Um, but yeah, since then, I would say that kind of political awakening um, has occurred. The voters have spoken in Scotland. They don't want a Tory-led government that's only in the plan of austerity. They want a progressive party with progressive policies and they understand that it's only the SNP that offers that. Growing up at that point as a person of colour and who was Muslim, um, was quite difficult and I remember going to school the day after the 9-11 um, and the 11th of September, sorry, it's actually my birthday as well. So I was so excited to go to school and tell my friends about what I'd got for my ninth birthday. But instead, at the bus stop, I was asked by, and it was neighbours and neighbours' children, and their children asked if um, my family were terrorists, um, um, why the colour of my skin was dirty, if I was born in the mud. I think I'm like a really cool, funny teacher. Um, oh man, how would they describe me? They'd probably say I talk a lot. <laughs> probably do talk a lot. And I like to think, I think they think I'm kind. Um, I don't shout. That's one thing I did ask actually. That's my first year's list the other week. Um, and they were like, yeah, miss, you don't shout that much. But like, you have this voice where you don't shout, but you just know that Mrs. Javid's not impressed at this point. Um, so yeah, and I suppose that's the kind of tone I'd want to take forward to the Scottish Parliament. The one thing I would love to take across is punishment exercises and detentions, but I don't know if I'd be allowed to do that and give them to other parliamentarians that annoy me. So um, I think for me, people are just sick and tired of this punch and judy type of politics. This idea that in the chamber, whether that's the Scottish Parliament or down in Westminster, the parliamentarians are just shouting at one another and just trying to score petty political points. Because at this point, we're going through a global pandemic, people are losing jobs, there's a lack of housing, um, or affordable housing rather. And what we need is parliamentarians that can go to the parliament with real life experience and actually discuss, well, these are the issues. And for me, it's not just about being a person of colour and representing people of colour, but actually it's representing fellow teachers, um, because teacher working conditions or teacher learning sorry, teacher working conditions or people learning conditions um, and then on top of that being a voice for young people.